Welcome to the notes on substituting values into expressions, all right? Our goal with this lesson is to be able to substitute values into expressions and evaluate them. So we know what algebraic expressions don't have an equal sign, we're going to evaluate those. No, why, why did I use the parentheses? Parentheses are really important because when you're doing these problems, guys, I want you to use those parentheses, all right, when you're, when substituting Values. All right, those parentheses are going to be really important because we talked about the properties of exponents and when there's parentheses and when there's not. So that's going to be my big tip for you guys when we're working these problems. So let's get right to an example because we know what substitution method is, how we're going to use it with these expressions. So it says, here's our, here's our expression right here, x plus 2y minus z. Now it says for when x equals 3. So whenever you see an x, you're going to put in a 3. When y is negative 5. So whenever I see a y, I'm going to put in a negative 5, and it tells me that z is negative 4. So wherever I put a z, I'm going to put in that negative 4. So here we go. Again, careful with your signs. So it says x. Well, when I said, I said x equals 3. So when I see an x, I'm going to put parentheses. I'm going to put a 3 there. Nothing else changes. Only the variable you're changing for. The plus sign stays. That 2 will stay there. But now for y... I'm substituting in negative 5. So I'm going to put parentheses negative 5. And then again, this negative doesn't go away, so that's a minus. And then for z, I'm putting in negative 4. So inside of parentheses, I'm putting in negative 4. Again, parentheses really important. You're not changing any of the signs. You're just substituting the value in for that variable. Now, order of this is where order of operations comes in. All right, and be careful with your signs. So I've got a multiplication here. So I've got, I'm going to use all black now, but I've got 3 plus 2 times negative 5 is negative 10, and then this right here, the minus a minus, all right, that becomes plus, because a minus, minus, a minus a minus is positive, so plus 4, and then we can just work left to right, 3 minus 10 is negative 7, negative 7 plus 4, and that is going to equal negative 7 plus 4 is negative 3, there is your answer. Okay, let's take a look at one more here so we can see what happens with when we get those exponents and why those parentheses are so important. So here's our expression right here. All right, it says x equals 4. So when I see an x, I'm going to put in 4. And where I see a y, I'm going to put in a negative 2. So here we go. That negative in front, that stays. All right, that stays. I'm, not, I'm only substituting for x, so I'm going to put the negative. Now I'm going to put my parentheses, x is 4, and there's my exponent, there's my plus, there's my 3. Now for y, I'm going to put in negative 2, so the negative 2 is inside parentheses, I still have that exponent squared. And we talked about this last time where, where those parentheses are with the negative sign when we're squaring something. So for this first one, all right, we square the 4, 4 squared is 16. But then we have that negative sign in front, so it's negative 16. And then over here, exponents first, so it's going to be plus 3 times. Now, the negative 2 is inside the parentheses, so it's negative 2 squared. Negative times negative is 4. So this becomes negative 16 plus 3 times 4 is 12, which equals negative 4. So there's the answer here. One more example I want to tip, uh, talk about so you guys can see the difference what happens. Well, it's pretty simple to, sub, to sub, uh, substitute in, but watch what happens. So here's our expression over here. Our expression's right here. All right. A is 2, B is 4, and C is also 4. So I'm going to plug that into our expression over here. I'm going to do it right below here. All right. So A is 2. So there's my, there's my A right here. So I'm going to put a 2. We're going to square that. We're going to put a minus, and then my b, all right, we said that's 4, so minus 4 all over c, which we said is 4. So when I do this problem, I'm going to get 2 squared, which is 4 minus 4 over 4. So that is going to equal, what's 4 minus 4? That is 0 over 4. So let's just take a look. At, let's hold that for a second. All right, and then let's come back to this one on the other side. So now this time A is 1. So when I see an A, I'm going to put 1. I'm going to square that. Same expression. I'm going to put the minus sign. 
And now where I see a B, B is three. So I want to put minus three. And then on the bottom, all right, it says right here that C is zero. So where I see that C, I'm going to put a zero. So when I do this problem, one squared is one. So it's just one minus three all over zero. Well, one minus three, that's going to be negative two. And on the bottom, I have a zero. So these problems look very similar, but on one, the zero is in the denominator or in the student numerator, one that's in the denominator. When it's in the numerator, this is always zero. Zero divided by any number is zero. It's, you write zero or you just write the number zero. When zero is in the denominator, this is undefined. You cannot divide by zero, guys. If you see that, problem is undefined or you want to put a zero with a ledger, no solution. So there's our lesson on substituting values into algebraic expressions. Watch those, use those parentheses and watch out for the zero and undefined case.